Hi everyone, my, my name is Pacharapong Mun Mueang. I'm the investor relation of the Large Tani Hospital Public Company Limited or the RJH. Uh, thank you for joining the investor presentation today. Uh, I would like to quick uh, introduce our management represent in the meetings. Uh, first, uh, Dr. Bachira Wutikun Rapan, the managing writer of the RJH. And the second is Kun Manat Sa. Le Dam Long Lak, our CFO. Okay, we go to page uh, six. Uh, that our uh, company profiles. Uh, the RJH is the uh, found in nineteen nineties and the operate in the full operate in the nineteen ninety twos. We are in the healthcare business in Thailand and operate two private hospitals. Uh, names Rajatani Hospital and uh, Rajatani Rojana Hospital. The first one is the secondary care, care uh, hospital and the last one is the primary care. Uh, our hospital is located in the Ayutthaya province. The, the, the province is uh, important uh, as the strategic location for the logistics in Thailand. So we can, uh, we can see uh, many of the industrial estate in here. And uh, this province far from about one hour from Bangkok, and uh, that's uh, and that's uh, uh, half a fourth of the highest uh, GDP per capita in Thailand. Uh, our target customer has uh, we have two primary target customer. Our uh, first one is the uh, cash patient. It account about fifty five percent in two thousand seventeen, and the last one is. Uh, uh, from the social security patients that account about the forty five percent in terms of the revenues the number uh, of the number of the hospital beds uh, we have uh, three hundred and fifty three uh, registered hospital bed and uh, two hundred and nineteen the actual uh, event and service uh, for our for, for our financial performance. Uh, we grow. We have the steady growth about the fourteen percent in the past uh, three years. Uh, the revenue growth about uh, one billion to the one point four billion in Thai baht. Uh, for the future project, uh, we have the capex is about the seven hundred million baht. The biggest one is the new nine story uh, patient buildings that will add uh, about uh, 120 beds and we finished uh, about the 2020s. Uh, go to the next page, uh, the our shareholder structures. Uh, is it divided into the three groups? Uh, the first one is the uh, whole by the hospital in Thailand, about the 15 cents. The second one is a whole by the founding families, uh, total of about uh, 32 percent and the rest is the, uh, from the whole by public. Our company uh, hold uh, uh, our subsidiary about uh, 54 percent, the Rajatani Rojana Hospital. However, uh, in, the, in February this year, we announced that we will acquire the remaining share of the, our subsidiary. So if it's complete, it's, the number is go to nearly 100 percent. Uh, the next slide is uh, our major events. Uh, I would like to point out about the 2012 that the year we received the level 1 or and level 2 of hospital accreditation or HA is HA is the, the standard of the uh, certification of the hospital and healthcare in Thailand. In the next three years, 2015, we have the level 3 of the HA, the highest of HA in Thailand. Uh, 2016, we went to public and listed in the South Asian of Thailand. And 2017, uh, we received the reaccreditation of the HA Level 3 at the first time. Uh, go to the page 10 about the business characteristics. Uh, as I said, we have uh, the one uh, 300 and if about the 350. Uh, registered bed and the bed in service about 192. Uh, the interesting number is uh, about the insured person from the social security. We reached uh, 170,000 of the uh, insured person from SSO and uh, this account about 45% market share in the IUTR province. 
uh, the next page shows about the uh, our key excellence centers. Uh, the first one is the emergency neurosurgery centers. That uh, we our our hospital is near the highway and the main road, so the uh, road the accidents take place regularly. So we prepare the facility like uh, ambulance or the ER emergency rooms and the medical specialty available for the uh, 24 hours. The next one is the heart center that uh, care the heart disease. So we specialize in the cardiac catheterization or the cat lab, echocardiogram, or con coronary artery bypass, and uh, valve replacements. Uh, another one is the orthopedic centers. The orthopedic centers that we our procedure is uh, including the orthopedic surgeries and the total hips replacement and knee replacement. The, the last one is the minimal invasive surgery that the, uh, the health uh, the patient have kidneys uh, incisive uh, instead of the large open. And so uh, patient recovery quickly uh, from, the, from the pain. So that uh, poster include the arthroscopic surgery of the knees, shoulders, and spine injuries and the uh, laparoscopic uh, procedure, and you see in the list. I would like to go to page uh, 15. It's about the competition in this area. Uh, we see the, the competition is a minimal in this area. Uh, the, hosp the, the, the government hospital is the, is the indirect comp competition for us uh, due to the uh, different customer and different service. And uh, we have a competitive advantage over other private hospital in this area uh, because they are they are small, and the, we have the high reputation and medical staff, and the medical service is a good quality for us. So uh, we see another opportunity in the hospital business in this area. At uh, you see, the Ajuti province has a large population and economy base and uh, still increasing the healthcare spending. And so we will also see the opportunity in the industrial estates as the more business for them, like uh, outside check up and vaccines. So go to the 18 page. Uh, I touched a little bit about the uh, payment structure of the social security schemes. Uh, the first one is the fixed payment. Uh, that we have, we got fixed from the SSO, and the, the last is the static based payment and per medical service. You can see in the next page for the payment detail in the page 19. So that that's all about the uh, introduction of the our business of the RJH. Uh, the next, I, I will pass the presentation to Kun Manasa, our CFO, about the financial performance and the future project. Kun Manasa. Uh, good morning. Thank you for taking time for our presentation today. Uh, this session is about the financial performance. First of all, I would like uh, to uh, give you an idea of our revenue structure that consists of the uh, social security and non-social security revenue. Uh, for social security revenue, uh, is this somewhat related to the number of insured persons with our hospital? Uh, it's not quite related to visited pattern. Unlike uh, the non-social security revenue that uh, the income is related to the number of visited patients. Um, and next slide is the proportion of uh, we would like to uh, give you an idea of how our performance during the past three years. Uh, the first uh, chart is our revenue. You can see that our revenue has increased from uh, 2015 from 1,000 to 1,200 and then to 1,400. Uh, it's quite a strong growth with uh, about uh, 16 to 18 percent growth. Of course, the cost profit margin has increased as well, from 220 to 414 in 27. Uh, this is more than uh, 
this is an increase of both uh, dollar term and uh, percentage of revenue uh, from the right most charge we see that uh, the gross profit margin has increased from nearly 22% in year 2015 to 2017 uh, to 30%. Uh, this is the result of economic scale obtained from the higher volume of our passion and also the higher price of the service that we uh, charge to the patient. Um, I will give you more detail of the revenue and how we achieve uh, this strong growth later. Next slide uh, is the EBITDA. Uh, the past three years, our EBITDA is 195 and then to 200 and then to 260 in 2017, about 25% of our revenue. You can notice that uh, this high liquidity um, help us to comfortably pay dividend or reinvest this profit to into the future without having to raising uh, new capital. And next is the net profit. We have a dramatic growth from 79 million baht to 230 million baht. This is more than double growth. In terms of profit margin, uh, it is increased from 6% of revenue to 18% uh, of, of revenue. That is more than double growth. Mm. This dramatic uh, high revenue uh, help boost this net profit and also uh, the cost effective that we can keep control of our uh, cost of healthcare. And on top of that, it is uh, because of the interest expense that has reduced from last year because uh, in year 2016, we have raised uh, fund IPO and pay off all debt. That's why our interest expense has reduced and uh, this help contribute to the higher net profit in our book. Um, next, I will uh, give you in detail about our revenue. Uh, in the chart, we see a group of uh, revenue by category of OPD of non-social security passion, IPD of non-social security, and the right most is the social security. If we see the growth of each category, OPD growth is 10%, IPD is 15%, and the highest growth is 21% uh, of social security. The proportion of uh, this income between uh, social security and non social security is uh, 45% is uh, non-social security and the remaining uh, and the remaining is uh, social security non-social security. Next slide is uh, the breakdown of OPD. Uh, I have breakdown into number of OPD visits and uh, spending per head of uh, patient. You can see that in terms of dollar, in terms of bar, revenue increase of OPD has increased from 250, 280, and then 220 in 27. This is around 10% growth. This growth has uh, been the result of number of OPD visits that has increased about 8% 8 last year. This is because the, uh, we have new substitute doctor that draw more patients to our hospital. And um, then we also increase the hospital service fee. That's why uh, the revenue per visit has increased from 1,300 to more than 1,560. And because of the substitute doctor, that in also helps increase the spending per head of each patient. Next slide is the capacity of our OPD. 
at the table right most, you can see that we have increased the uh, exhibition room from 44 in 2015 to uh, 51 in 2017. Also, the hemodialysis units also increased every year. Despite the increase of this capacity, we still uh, keep uh, this utilization rising. You can notice the peak of the OPD utilization in third quarter of this year to the highest new record of 86%. Next slide is about the IPD of non-social security patient. The revenue from IPD has increased by 15%. This increase is from the increase of the IPD patient that had increased by 11% uh, last year to more than 13,000 patients per year. And for the spending per patient is also on the rise from only 27,000 baht per head to more than uh, 21,000 baht per head. This increase of the spending per head is because we have specialty doctors uh, that help boost the spending per head of the patient, like an uh, orthopedic cat lab. You can notice that in uh, second quarter, our high, high first and third, uh, second quarter, we have highest uh, spending per head to 32,000 baht per head. And then next slide is about the IPD utilization. The table is the number of beds that we are uh, open during the uh, past three years from 167 to 219. You can see that we have increased number of beds every year. This is because the utilization rate is quite uh, nearly full. In third quarter of this year, uh, we experienced the nearly full capacity of 90%. Uh, that's why we plan to increase uh, more bed uh, in 2018 as well. And we expect that the income will increase from this expansion. For Social Security, the revenue growth is uh, the highest of 21% from 430 to more than 630. As I have mentioned that Social Security revenue is somewhat related to the number of insured persons, not uh, the visit patient. So I would like to uh, draw you to the number of registered patients that uh, have registered with our hospital. It keep, keep rising every year and in the fourth quarter, our number of registered patients patient have increased to more than 168,000 people. Uh, the more head, the more income because part of the social security is around 40% uh, it fixed to the head of registered pa patient. And if we look at the rate, income per head of this category, it keep rising from 3,000 baht to 308,000 baht in 2017. Uh, the rate is not only because the government has increased the payment rate, to our social security hospitals in Thailand, but it's also because uh, we have more complicated admittance, uh, so we can gain higher score for uh, the HSR view uh, complicated disease. Next slide, uh, let me uh, bring you to our capital structure. You can notice that we have very low uh, debt. 
to equity. It's only 0 0.14 in 27. This is because we have less fund in year 2016 and we have uh, high liquidity to pay off all our debt with banks. Now most of our uh, debtor are the account payable. Next, uh, I would like to give you a brief look of our uh, subsidiary that we have taken over for uh, three years ago and have turned around its business from a uh, lost written company to profitable company. You can see that uh, our subsidiary revenue increased from only 92 million to 220 million baht. It's more than double. And the gross profit margin also changed from literary loss to uh, more than to nearly 29% gross margin. Next slide is the profit of our subsidiary. The chart shows that we earn around 54 million baht in year 27 from the loss of 30 million uh, three years ago. Uh, part of this uh, 54 million baht profit is from deferred tax that uh, we record as an income for around 27 million baht in first quarter. That's why in the next chart you will notice first quarter that we will have very high um, profit margin. If we take a look in year 2017, net profit margin is 24%. But if we uh, not take into account this deferred tax, uh, the net profit margin will be 14%, which is quite promising. Okay. Next slide. For the next slide is the uh, proportion of the revenue of this subsidiary. The social security is only around 20% of its total revenue, unlike the current company that have around 50%. And most of the income of this subsidiary is from OPD. Uh, okay, next slide, we will focus on the strategy of this year. Uh, for OPD, since our capacity, I mean uh, current company capacity is uh, quite full, we will focus on OPD of uh, subsidiary. But, but for parent company, we will focus on OPD that uh, have higher spending. That means for specialty doctor or something. For IPD, we will increase the expansion of the uh, IPD since you can notice that we have nearly full capacity in year 2017. For social security, we will keep uh, increase the number of registered person and uh, more manage data management of the um, just add bill or completed test to earn higher score and. For the future project, we will have a new capacity expansion of new building, which will uh, expand more than uh, expand around 120 beds in this new uh, nine-story building, which will be up and running in year 2020. And for the future project of MRI and HIMO now is already complete for MRI center is already uh, operate and hemodialysis it will be operate in fourth quarter of this year and that's all for today's presentation
we welcome all of, uh, your questions. Okay, thank, uh, thank you uh, again for the, uh, your participation in the uh, presentation today. Uh, thank you. <laughs>